Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. Today, we're stopping over in France to try a beer with traditions rooted in both monastic abbeys as well as peasant farmhouses. Located in the north of the country, the Brasserie Goudal may be a macro brewery, but the styles they produce try to capture some of the traditions of French brewing from centuries ago. Their lineup includes doubles, triples, blonde ales, blanche beers, but the star for today is something that comes in a bottle that reminds one of bubbly. Named after a long-abandoned Cistercian abbey, the Abbaye de Vauclair Imperial is a beer de garde. This brew is something traditionally produced by peasants in the winter and spring, likely serving as a comfort through the seasonal cold and rain. However, the brew is often stored for consumption months later. No surprise then that the name means beer for keeping. With a cork tied down tight on the neck, one can infer this beer cellars well. These brews are traditionally top fermented ales, and this one has gone through plenty of fermentation to reach an alcohol content of 7.5% by volume, with no official listing for bitterness to be found in my research. In addition to barley, this vintage also makes use of glucose syrup, oats, wheat, and rye, as well as additional flavoring coming from coriander and orange peel. Popping the cork and getting it into a glass, an effervescent head quickly forms and abates only after a patient wait. For lack of a better word, the head gives off a lovely aromatic spectrum. True to the farmhouse style, the nose is filled with flowery, herbal, even wild fruit characteristics, with a fittingly dry finish. Although 7.5%, the strength is not especially apparent on the tongue, but after a few minutes, one feels their head spinning in the same way as after a glass of champagne. Although not produced by monks for several hundred years, it is a welcome tribute to the art of brewing that such institutions like Beauclair played in the preservation of underappreciated and worthy styles of brew, such as Bia de Gaulle. Thank you kindly for watching. Before we conclude for today, a final thought. While French beer may never achieve the same level of renown as its wines, Perhaps treats such as Beer de Garde are a welcome reminder that brewing is very much an art. An art that changes from place to place and from person to person. Take a sip of this Imperial and be glad that the French have their own unique spin to offer us. Maybe you'll crack a smile, and in appreciation, you'll mumble. Ah, the French. <laughs>